Is your family farm's future uncertain? Silence may be the biggest risk of all. Discover how open conversations and gradual planning can secure your legacy and empower the next generation. Don't wait. Start the dialogue today. Learn more and download a transition planning checklist at fcc.ca slash knowledge. Bernard Tobin here at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. I'm over at Jaylor now, catching up with Ken Taminga. Ken, how's it going? I'm doing well. It's an awesome day here, day one at the Outdoor Farm Show. And it's a great day here. Now you are unveiling the new 6000 series vertical TMR mixers. Um, tell us about this. Um, I guess, you know, obviously, this has been a 30 year business uh, and a six year journey on this machine. Absolutely, yeah. Jaylor started in 1993 with my family, Jake and Lorraine. That's actually where the J and the lore came from. And uh, ever since the beginning, our unique feature, our unique element of the mixer has been the auger itself. And the auger is really where the, where the difference happens. With a JLOR, we have the ability to put in large round bales and process that forage in a minimum amount of time with a minimum amount of horsepower, the lowest in the industry, in fact. It's also excellent at mixing and achieves mix uniformity in the least amount of time in the market. Now let's talk about the new machine here, the 6000 series. I guess let's talk mixing. I mean, let's go over and have a look here. You know, you got faster mixing times, right? Absolutely, yeah. The JLR auger produces a mix 20% faster than conventional round augers. And we have a number of extra features on the 6000 series that we're unveiling here at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. Uh, some of them here, I can walk you through them if you'd like. We have a new conveyor design, you can see here and you have spring shields in the top of the conveyor's design. This is a unique innovation by JLOR. There's actually a spring inside of that shield. So it doesn't matter what angle the conveyor is unloading at, it actually maintains rigidity in the sidewall and has an even unload of feed at no matter what angle. It also gives you a little bit more clearance underneath the conveyor wing as you're doing the unload. It's really about getting all the feed in the bunk. You can see up here, there's some wipers on the, the chain as well and that helps clear all the feed off of the chain and making sure that every bit of that feed, every bit of that goodness ends up in the feed bunk and makes you money. Talk about horsepower here. We've got 20% sorry, twenty percent less horsepower to get the job done. Absolutely. JLR's innovation around the auger in our slide plate auger allows us to scoop under the feed rather than plowing through it like a conventional round auger design would that we started with. We know we're familiar with that design. We started there in the early 90s and we've innovated from there to develop an auger that's 20% less horsepower. Let's talk about the, I guess, the seal lock door. Sure. So the seal lock door is an innovation that we introduced uh, last year with a new design here with the 6000 series as well. And what it is is a cam latch system at the top and the bottom. I don't know if you can see that inside there. There's a top and a bottom cam latch on the door. And what that does is it not only holds it down as the, as the door slides down, but it pulls the door in and tight to the drum wall. And that creates a seamless flow on the inside of the drum. That really helps maintain the longevity and performance of that very tight fitting door, further reducing horsepower and improving mix. Talk about um, a larger viewing window and some, some, some better visibility. Yeah? Absolutely. So on a JLOR, because of the way the auger works, we have low sidewall pressure. And that low sidewall pressure means we've been able to put in a window directly in the side. It's a patented innovation, but it's really only possible in a JLOR. And the 6000 series, we made that 50% larger as well. So you can see what's happening from the ground without having to climb that ladder every time. So Ken, tell me about uh, the sizes and options here. Absolutely. So the 6000 series, we have two new models. We have the 6425 all-terrain model and then the 6850 all-terrain model you can see there on the end. They're two new all-terrain models with very large flotation tires underneath them designed for mud conditions or, or very difficult terrain where mixers haven't been able to go historically. The entire range from single, twin, HD, and now this new all-terrain uh, series is available October 1st from your local JLOR dealer. Great stuff, Ken. Appreciate you making some time for Real Agriculture here at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. Yeah.